Ultimate Byte. Hey folks, this is Ultimate Byte. So I'm back again about Rust server because uh, a few things have changed and uh, I think it's worth mentioning in the video. So basically the last LVSM release uh, improved a lot uh, the Oxide integration to the Rust server. You can now install and update or even remove Oxide directly from uh, LGSM, which is, uh, I think, quite cool. Other games support uh, some mods as well. Heart World supports Oxide as well, for example. One other thing you might uh, now see is this error. Uh, for some reason, recent OVH machines changed the uh, permissions on sys directory, and for some reason, uh, Rust don't like uh, when the, those permissions are not correct. So if this issue now occurs to you, then uh, with the latest uh, LGSM update, if the user has sudo available, it's gonna self-fix the issue. If it doesn't, it's gonna provide you with th this command that you need to run as root, and everything should be fixed. Uh, now to the basic installation process. Of course, you're gonna have to install the required dependencies for your OS. Mine is, of course, Debian. Then, as usual, you make a new user. And here is my huge console for you guys on YouTube. So you copy your file properly. Then you double you get the file. UCHmod plus X, Rust server, Nano Rust server. Just make your config as needed. Put a decent Archon password. Mine is not decent, this is not a proper password, but this is for the sake of the video. Then, if uh, you got all other servers on the, the previous ports, just put new ones, put whatever you like. Uh, one thing new about Rust is this Archon Web thing. Uh, so, yeah, Facepunch now provides uh, a Web Archon tool. Uh, so if you want to use it, put this to one. If you don't and prefer sticking to Rusty or Rust Admin or whatever, put it to zero. Maybe Rust Admin actually works uh, with this to set to one, but I know Rusty don't, and this needs to be set to zero for Rusty to work. So after things are set up, just run the install. As usual with the LGSM, everything has been automated as much as possible. And the last step is going to be uh, just uh, testing your server and uh, setting up your config file. Once the server is going to be installed, of course, as usual, before installing any mod, you want to make sure it's working properly. So you're just going to start it. And since for us, don't have a proper console output, blame face punch, by the way, not us. You're gonna run Rust server. No, you're gonna run tail f server files game star dot log, and it's gonna display the log in real time, which is kind of a console output. Uh, to exit this, press Control C. So here the server started properly. But of course, in order to be able to input commands uh, to your server, you're gonna have to use Rusty. So if using Rusty. Uh, you're gonna just need to do Rust server details. Then all the required information is in here, basically. You're gonna set up a new server with your IP over here. Then your Archon password is displayed in the Rust server details section. So I'm gonna pass it right here. And you're gonna put your actual server ports right here, which are written here, by the way. Save, yeah, connect. All right, I'm connected. So now you, you may wanna change your config file and you should because otherwise my name is gonna be displayed into it and people are gonna go reach me and say, hey, your server is down, please put it back on. Uh, while I don't know what they're talking about because I don't own a Rust server anymore at the moment. So it's going to be in server files, uh, server, rust server, then cfg and server.cfg. 
just read the, the comments and uh, set it as you wish. So that's pretty much it. Here you got your running server. Uh, then we're gonna shut down the server to install mods, which is preferable but not compulsory. So rest server stop. And if you run rest server and have the latest version, if you don't have the latest version, just run the update functions. But if you do have the latest version, you're gonna have mods install, mods update, and mods remove commands. So, Rust server, mods, install, or you can just type mi, which is the short command. So you're provided with available mods, of course for Rust we only provide Oxide, which is the most popular one. And it gets downloaded, extracted, and logged to LGSM files so that the LGSM can know the mod has been installed and what files it contains, etc. Then you're gonna wanna try again if your server is still working and if Oxide uh, appears in logs, so just watch your logs. Of course, uh, Rust is gonna be updated and you're gonna have to wipe Rust sometimes. So there's a new command for Rust, if you watched uh, carefully, you have seen it, it's the wipe command. So Rust server wi or wipe, it's gonna wipe the server. Isn't this amazing? Of course, if the server is started, it's gonna shut it down, then wipe it, then shut it back on. And after the Rust update, uh, you're gonna have to update Oxide if you're using it. So you're gonna do the Rust server mods update, or MU. And it's gonna grab the latest uh, Oxide version. Of course, it has to be released already. Note that this command is uh, not very smart, it's gonna proceed to the update even if there's no update. So... Yeah, it's just gonna overwrite uh, Oxide uh, files, except of course for your config files and mods. It doesn't touch uh, anything about it. So yeah, this is it. Hope you like uh, the new stuff about Rust, the mods installation function, what a pain in the ass to code and even to review. <laughs> so thank you, Daniel Gibbs, for your patience with it. So yeah, I think it pretty much wraps it. Um, if you got any question or anything, any requests, don't hesitate to ask. As usual, don't ask if you didn't do your homework, which is Googling, reading the wiki. We improved uh, LGSM's wiki again and again, every single day. Uh, so just read it, please, before asking stupid questions. Like, uh, I mean, there's no stupid question, but it becomes stupid if you ask before searching or reading the doc. Uh, hope you like the video, hope you will like the new features. Like I said, other games have the, the mods install feature available, so if you find a mod that could be installed uh, by extracting a, a zip to some uh, several directories, for example, don't hesitate to, to request for it on GitHub. And uh, if you got other issues, we are available in Discord and in, or in the Steam group. I wish you to have fun, guys. See you in the next video.